Hello world, all my kings, queens, and zooligans. As always, it's a blessing and honor to holler at you today. As you can see, I'm in my second favorite place in the whole wide world. Earning a living, legally, you know what I'm saying? God willing, I can make it home tonight, you know what I'm saying, to my first favorite place. Uh, before I get started, I do want to say, Planet Zoo Entertainment, we rocking and rolling right now. Don Elway done dropped, Elway or No Way, part two. Adonis the Hottest just dropped tonight in Vegas. And Lil Knock just dropped the Paradigm to Paradise. And then we just dropped the Street Marine soundtrack. About to be followed up with a movie, Vinny, and a soundtrack. I mean, excuse me, and a book. Now, that book will be out on the 25th uh, uh, Five Star General Street Marine Volume 2. And when I tell you it's a monster, I promise, man, it's going to be a page turner. I learned a lot from my first book. It will be um, like my first book, but not as big. It's going to be like a Donald Goins, so you can get through it in about a day or two. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to be a, a, a page turner. And I'm talking about action-packed, you know what I'm saying, with stories about uh, my big homeboy, C.K. Bill. May he rest in peace, Mr. Uh, Billy Mathis. Anyway, it got other stories in there, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna love. You know what I'm saying? Some true, some not. You know what I'm saying? Now, even in my book and just like on this podcast, don't quote me. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't said nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just talking stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm just talking my stuff, man. Doing what I do, man. Loving to live life. You know what I'm talking about? Moving and grooving like I'm from Hoover. You know what I'm saying? And that's all that is. You know what I'm saying? So don't take anything I'm doing uh, 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 too personally. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, I still beat you up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I still, I'm still with the get out. You know what I'm saying? Some things have never changed. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, God, for redirecting me towards a soldier's point of view instead of a fool's point of view. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, before I go too far, I got to send a shout out to the father. I always got to say what's up to him because without him, there's no me. Without me, there's no we. You know what I'm talking about? So, uh, thank you, Lord Father, for allowing me to wake up and see another day uh may you bless everybody online everybody who watched this story everybody who tap in on my face man help them be better today than they were yesterday help them to utilize the 24 hours so that they can get the best results about it ain't nothing different than us and the filthy rich other than they know how to utilize that time a little bit better than us but now we can figure it out with your help Lord father please bless my friends friendly foes and enemies and rebuke the devil evil doors and bad spirits against us and all our Lord father in your name all things is possible amen now I got a call from my homeboy, Lil Bezo from Lincoln Park. You know what I'm saying? He got me feeling good. It was good news. You know what I'm saying? That's one of my solid homeboys, man. Um, thank God, man. Me, personally, I got real homeboys. Because, see, now I bang a little different. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I had enemies from everywhere, just like everybody got enemies. But my banging was so thorough that it allowed me to bang with other thorough individuals from other places. And because they were so thorough and we were so thorough together as one, we've established a bond, a union that lasts forever, man. And it's on a, it's on a level of realness. Most of y'all ain't gonna never be able to experience that because a lot of people be on some sucker shit. But now, <clears throat> If you do, and I hope that you do, I want that for you. You got to stay real. Stay real to the game so the game will be real to you. You're fake on it, I promise you, you're going to you gonna fall for the banana in the tailpipe. You know what I'm saying? You're going to come up shiggity show. And that's what I don't want for you. And that's why I share a lot of these stories, man, hoping that it might uplift your spirit not to entertain the bull crap and pull you down to a level where you can't get up. Man, I've been there before. 
That's not where it sat on me. That was a lot of misery. That was a lot of hatred. You know what I'm saying? A lot of hurt, a lot of pain. And, and, and that'll hold you down and make you uh, 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 lean and rely on crutches. And that's not where it's at, man. So anyway, uh, he got me feeling good, man. I got to talk about one of my homeboys from Lincoln Park. You know what I'm saying? I got a big homeboy by the name of Cripple Mike. Cripple Mike, man. Now, he's like a triple OG, man. He's old. And uh, he was old then, you know what I'm saying? When I was running with him. When I was running with him when I was about 17, 18 years old. And uh, when I got with him is where I realized that. Because it, it was a whole crew that they rode. They was on some gangster shit. And they rode together, but it was Skyline Link in there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Bribs. It was a pack of gorillas. You know what I'm saying? And they was into some gorilla stuff that I most definitely can't say on here. But uh, what I can say is that, let me describe him for you. Tall, skinny, fly, stayed in something real funky and fresh, you know, looking how a G's supposed to look. But, uh, he always wore a hat. Always wore a hat, right? And his hair, all the way down his back. He had a long fly perm like he was pimping, right? All the way, I'm talking about hanging way down here, man. You know what I'm saying? He's not an Indian or, you know, mix or none of that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, a person like that really, you know, African-American, you know, a real N-I-G-G-A, he gonna, you know, really love his hair. So he's way down here. Every time you see him in the corner, he's fresh, right? You know what I'm saying? He, you know, what's up, G-Boy? What's up, little dude? What's happening? What, what, you know, talking that shit like he the one, the two, and the three, right? Somehow, I accidentally tapped that hat off. Man, he must have he must have got to running like, like, like I was the police to get the hat back on his head. And I seen it. I seen it. All this gone to the meat. Bored, 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 bored. So the whole this part, all this part gone. Peeled back. <laughs> Peeled all the way back. But the perm is hanging, so you get that on. All you seen was this, man. This looked like he was fly as all outdoors, right? I said, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> got, got him, right? Like, damn, bro. That's how we rocking? You know, so from that point on, you know, I'm a little homie, man. You know what I'm saying? I always been talking S-H-I-T, man. That's just something I do, man. I take a ass whooping, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. But I'm going to talk my spit, right? Clowning, I got the jokes every time I see him, man. That mother, he pulled up on me. Get in. I get in there. Look here. We rolling. Hey, man, don't nobody know that secret but you, right? Now, if that secret get out, I'm going to have to kill you. <laughs> I say, I say, I say, man, don't nobody know about that shit? He said, man, don't nobody know but you. That's why I did that. I say, well, how do you have sex with a girl? I said, you don't be getting up in it? You don't be digging, you know what I'm saying? I be trying to get, I be trying to, I be trying to stand up or something, you know what I'm saying? I be trying to hurt something, because with me, and it come to sex with a female, it's a war. It's a battle, and I'd be damned if I come about that war to loser. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to conquer territory. So I'm thinking, like, what are you doing? He said, man, hell yeah. Yes, I try to do the same thing. I said, well, how you do that with a hat on your head? I said, you have sex with a hat on your head? He said, yes. I said, well, what you do? He said, I turn it back, and I grabbed him, and I gig. <laughs> Hey, 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 I'm sat in the car laughing like hell, man, at this dude, man. I said, this dude crazy as hell, man. Anyway, you know what's crazy? I'm going to tell you something real crazy real quick, man. In the penitentiary, 
I was with him. He signed the deal. I don't want to say what he signed the deal for. God willing, you should be out by now, man. You know what I'm saying? But boy, it was a hell of a mountain that he had to climb. And you know, him being a real dude, he took it right on the chin, man. When I used to see him up in there, he'd be smiling and giggling and laughing. You know what I'm saying? We was on the four yard together. And uh, yo and behold, his hair started to grow. His hair started to grow. You know what I'm saying? I got you. What's up, bro? Uh, you be in park. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Right? Yo and behold, his hair started to grow. Next thing you know, I, 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 man, we, like I said, we in prison. We in Donovan. And the man hair is growing. Now, I don't know what that is. I mean, but all this came back. Before I left, it came back. Man, uh, he was a funny dude. He was a joker, though. But anyway, shout out to him. Shout out to his family. Shout out to Liam Port. Shout out to all my homeboys. Shout out to all Southeast San Diego. My name was Onaja against the boy Barbie. Born and raised in the trenches of Southeast. Raised in the community of Skyline, where I began my takeover as a youngin. You know what I'm saying? Recruiting highly qualified individuals to put in work. Me, myself, was a line pusher all through them streets. You know what I'm saying? Tearing it up. You know what I'm saying? If I came across your path, we had a lot of fun doing what we do. Now, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Read your Bibles. Talk to God. I love all y'all, man. If you tapped on me, baby, ain't nothing but love. You know what I'm saying? So stand up, stay, stay safe, and uh, keep doing what you do, man, trying to have better. With that being said, peace. See, we got to get to work.